got nerds all of a sudden. <laughs> you too? Oh, it's recorded. Oh, here's the new nerd. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna know nerd. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like this. So. Let me make the call. You ready to make the call? Let me make that call. Oh, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, B Sparrow. Jewel Sparrow. First, we ready. You're listening to the sounds of N.O. D. N.O. D. N.O. Diamonds in the background featuring Jay Lee. Yeah, we're about to This song's gonna go like Biggie C. Smoke so much in the oxygen. Wayne Lee trying to pass with head because he's the only put that ratchet. Oh, we're about to interview him. Hopefully, I can get it together. So, I think I need to turn this music down a tad bit. What's up? We got N.O. Dimes on the line. Diamonds. N.O. Diamonds. Well, N.O. D. N.O. Diamonds. N.O. Diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> in the N-O house. Diamonds, I'm right trying to find my special right there with me, too. So we out here. Say, say that again. I said my homeboy, Low Dog, out here. The one that be in the videos with me, though. What's up? You got Jay Real with you, too? Nah, Jay Real not here. Jay Real. They real had some session to do yesterday, and I don't, I don't really know what he's doing right now. But he had a, a recording session with somebody yesterday. So, and oh, yeah, I had okay. On, um, started his video for this last night, so we went together. Oh, okay, cool. I was supposed to tune into his show last night, but I fell asleep. Shout, man. shout out shout out to Los Dog, the video yeah, celebrity. Shout out to Los Dog. What's <laughs> up, with video you? celebrity, my dude? That's what's yeah. up. So. So let me tell you my let me tell you why I wanted to um have Hello. this interview. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello? Hold on, my phone something acting up. Oh, no. It might be on my end. I might yeah, have I to uh, So so you can hear me? Yeah. See, have to stay live. So let me tell you why I wanted to reach out to you because um a Julius has had given me one of those songs of uh, stressing. Right? I had never, I didn't even yeah. know who you, I didn't even know who you was when I heard the song. I, I can't even remember if I knew you was from K-Town or not, but when he gave me the song, yeah, I had, yeah you born and raised, right? Yeah. That's what's up. Shout out to K-Town. Shout out to K-Town. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Low Dog. <laughs> what's up, Low Dog? Yeah, I'm the one in the video, I like I'm about to slam my phone. I'm on my and stuff in the video, I'm on the front porch. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me hype up the videos and stuff like that right there. That's what's up. Okay. Hey, we love the rich we love the poor. We can do So so he he your Jerome. Uh, your hype man. <laughs> um yeah, I, 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 I play um I'm gonna keep him one hundred even though he uh two hundred percent go man. Go. Well, I, you know right. that. <laughs> I played stressing at one of my shows, right? And the chat room went off. They went right. crazy. It was like they, they was loving it. Now. I said, "Who is this?" I said, "Who is this?" And and, and Julius was like, "That's oh, yeah. that's that's Mandy Coops from Kenson." I was like, "Yo, we need to reach out for him. He from Kenson. We need to get this interview." I just wanted you to know. Now I'm 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 old school. 
I'm old school. I like old school. I don't like a, a lot of this new stuff that's going on. A lot of the old school, you know, you don't know what they're saying. So. so for me to say that I like you is it, something special. So how did you begin? Where did you start? Well, it all started uh, a while ago. We started a while ago. You know how re- freestyling like everybody else. Freestyling. Living right. in the freestyling. Being on, being on the table. Freestyling. Right. Freestyling. I, 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 didn't, I didn't start writing music until I was probably like 20 years old, though. Because I, um, you know, young, you know, you just freestyling and stuff like that. So when I started writing... I couldn't even really write, you know what I'm saying? My cousin right. was my cousin was following my raps up, so I'm just in the trash can. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but, you know, we just kept on going with it, though. So, who are some, who, who do you look up to? Who, who's the top five? Top five, like what, industry or, or regular, rap. regular? Regular rap. Regular. Just rap. Just, okay, industry, give me your top five industry. Well, it was like rappers, you know what I'm saying? I, when I was growing up, it was like Snoop Dogg and, um, um, it was like Snoop Dogg and, and Miles D. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, Nas. Oh, yeah, I like Nas. You know, Nas in my top five. Jay-Z, 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 one of my top, top okay. five. Jay-Z probably like on the top of all them, though, because I, I like the Jay-Z style from the business point of mind he had. Right. Uh, he would his songs come from the street, because his song was, you know, you know how they start street shit, street street, street right. oriented like that, but he turned it into a business. So, and then Tupac, you know what I mean? Like, okay, Tupac, right. I always Absolutely. wanted to make hits. Absolutely. I always wanted to be make right classics. Like I always want my song to be classic hits. So right. I was, I would, I would listen to the, the hit makers, and that's what I wanted my songs to sound like when I wrote a song. When I did start finally writing songs, I want them to sound like, like the hits. Real right. hits, like classics that will last for a while. You know? Right. So when I first reached out to you via email, you, you mentioned the business aspect of the rap game there too, and I noticed that you just missed it again. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. I heard so you. Some when I, right now, but it's all good. Okay, so... When I first reached out to you um, via email, you had mentioned the business aspect of it, just like you did a moment ago, the business side of the rap game. Is that something that you are interested in, the business aspect of it, and not just rap and make records, but the business part of it? And what is the business part of it? To you, yeah. Well, to me, like, like, you know, everybody, like, most artists want to be the greatest artists they can be. Don't, I, I don't get me wrong. Don't get me, that's, that's what they're supposed to do. That's what, that's what I try to do sometimes. Make you know, be the, the greatest artist I can be at the same time. But being from Kenton, North Carolina, ain't right. nobody putting out music out here. Right. And, wing, and, and 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 you know, a lot of people out here waiting to get signed and and they right. waiting to get a record deal and they waiting on this and they waiting on that. Right. So in the time being, before all that right there, I ain't got time to be waiting on that. You know what I'm saying? So right. I started studying. I started studying what industry regulators do. I started right. studying what distributors do. I started studying what publishers do. And I started studying all this, how to um, make money off the music. Because uh, right. you can be a rapper. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being a rapper. Cause, you know, right. you know that. Music out. But... If the industry people making music, okay, we waiting on it. We waiting to get signed so we can get money for the music. Right. Until then, it, it, what 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 we gonna do? Until then, exactly. Just, uh, exactly. So just, instead of sitting on the music like that, yeah, instead of just idea. sitting on the music or letting people hear it, yeah, I will find out a way to to, to make a um to make a make it where 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 I get paid for those songs until I'm waiting on that. Right. So that's what I did. I mean, that's what I come with the business with. And then I got other artists that's, that's, that's you know what I'm saying, younger than me. Right. That don't know the format. So right. It's so that way them, you can teach them the format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so what's up. Them, I, I, keep, I keep it like that. So it'll come down to the, when it come down to, if, if, without being signed to a record label, we can make our own record label. It's going to cost right. money and stuff like that. Right. 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 Uh, hold on, man. Right. <laughs> so, your videos 
uh, the, your videos, the quality of your videos are like something that somebody put on MTV or BET or something. The quality is very nice. Who does the videos? Oh, I do videos. I do the videos because I got, like I said, I got tired. I, I, look, I ain't, I, I get tired of waiting on people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, no, no, don't, get, don't, don't get me wrong. I can't make nobody do nothing for me. I feel and it's not the time, but in, in like in, in the spare time with me having to wait on somebody to do something for me, I go find out how to do it for myself. I uh, feel you. Like that's how that's, that's how I started, am too. Started with the quality of the videos and record, the quality of the songs. Like that's how my um Jay Real, my partner Jay Real, we 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 um we used to make songs in 2011, and uh -huh. we had got come through. And he was like, Yo, I like the songs, I like the songs, but y'all need to work on the quality. So that's when Jay Real started studying how to get quality right and all that right there. Right. And then about 2013, 14, something like that, I was trying to get the dude to do my video. But he was way out in Greenville. Well, it ain't way out, but he was out in Greenville. Right. right. And it was like the timing always kept being wrong when right. I would call him and he was always doing he was doing somebody else's video. He was doing something for somebody else. Right. And then when he was ready, I think he had the money or something like that right there. So right. I just went into the study and how to do that. So we just put all that together and one started like a, a little I ain't gonna say business but not coming to business like that, but uh, is that that's, that's what it doing. is. So so Jay Real is pretty much the guy that does the beats. He does beat. Me and Jay been together. Me and been, they been working together since 2011. That's what's up, y'all. Y'all, y'all doing the damn thing. I like, yeah. I like to see young brothers do the thing. You know what I mean? And that's why, I, especially being from my hometown. Okay, and I, I read a post from you on Facebook about support, and I agree with you 100. percent When I first started this podcast, I could not get. I could not get any of my friends that I grew up with in Kinsley to listen. And I still can't get them to listen. Most of my supporters are on or people that I don't even know. You see what I'm saying? What is that? What do you what do you think that is? I don't know what it is. Me me, me and my partner talk about that uh, a lot. I really can't figure it out yet. I still can't figure it out. Like, right. I don't really know, man. The, the the way the way it's set up, people don't. I mean, people like to show outside support, right. right? And I don't know. I really can't figure it out yet. I still ain't figured it out. I just we just got to the point where we don't care no more. You know what I mean? I, exactly. I, I gotta say something about it. Cause I gotta say something about it. Every one, exactly. One but they don't let that stop us. I don't let that stop me. Now, you That's gotta, what they ain't gotta support me. No, because I'm a the music gonna be for itself when it starts getting out there, and, and right. I get supported for people who like the music, not just people who know me. Mm -hmm. The people who like the music, and then they get to know me as a person, mm -hmm. like when they read my posters or read my listen to my music and stuff like that. So they get to know me like that right there. But the people who know me out here, I got the people who support me out here. I got, I got right. some people who, who really good with it. But at first, like it seemed like. Same thing, saying like it was so hard to get people because they don't believe in you for one, for one. Right? They think it's an overnight thing or a or, or one-time thing, or it's just going, it's just going to be something for the day, and they just be right not be believing in you. So that's it's almost, thing. it's almost as like they think it's a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. a lot of my songs, they've been out for a while. They are. Um, like I've been on a couple, I've been on, I've been on a good platform for a while. Uh -huh. Like when I first started getting into distrib di distributing my own music. Uh huh. Um. Okay. No, I me mean, SoundCloud is a good platform, a very excellent platform for listening right. to music. Right. Right. All that audio mat is a very, very good platform for listening to music. Right. But I wanted to pass that. No, right. I wanted to pass that. I wanted to pass that because. Because the, because of the the the, folk, the people that artists or other artists that feel like they they competition to you, you know what I mean? So right. I just wanted to do more than they was doing. Right. So, exactly. And that's how you get ahead of things. Yeah. That's how you get yeah. ahead of things. Anything you want to say? Baby? Yeah, and, and, and staying on the subject of your of your music and speaking of your writing, where do you get your inspiration from? Right. 
That's good. Oh, I, I get I get the inspiration. I get the inspiration from the, from the people that hate on me. Right. Look, just, right hey, 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 just go keep it real from the K. <laughs> yeah, I get my biggest, I get my, um, I get my biggest inspiration from the folks I had to hate on it. No, I'm not yeah, hate on yeah. it, but don't, don't believe in it. Don't congratulate it. Don't think right. it's going to be something. Right. And it right. just made me go harder and harder and harder. And, and yeah. that's what made me go deep into um, understanding what I'm doing, putting out, and trying to put out. And I get it. <laughs> That's what inspired me to do so much. And so it's safe to say I, that... I, I just don't like them. I, I don't like failure, put it like that. Yeah, it's safe to say that you've been in the business for a while, for a minute. Have you seen rap change? Hold on, you... I'm trying to hear you. It's, it, you you've been in, we can we can say that you've been in the industry in the, for a minute, right? You've been doing rap for a while, right? Yeah. Sometimes have you seen? A change in rap since you've been doing it from the time that you started doing it up until now. Well, yeah, it's always changing. I stay with the time. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's one thing we talk about all the time. Stay with the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know how the how the people react to the music and the beats and and the, and the, the um what you call the, the vocals, how the mm -hmm. people talk about stuff like that right there. The, the content of the music. All that right there. I mean, a lot of it changed because, you know, back in the, back when I was growing up, we listened to like Ma D and Cole, uh, right, Cole Mary, right. um, Wu Tang, uh, Nori, uh, Capone and Nori, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Some old gangster music, you know what I mean? Right. Scarface and stuff like that right there. So now you got, you know, a lot of good music, but. You know, it's, yeah, it's lyrical. It's more, it's, it's turning to lyrical and stuff like that. And then, then some of them just went to it's like, yo, what is they talking about? Right, male or female? Who's the wackest rapper to you, male or female? Male, or female, the wackest rapper. Yeah. Uh, the wackest rapper. <laughs> what do you think? Damn, damn, damn. I got one. I got damn, one that came to mind immediately. Female Cardi B to me, she's the wackest rapper out there to me. Real? You like Cardi B? I was gonna say Cardi B for the bit. I can't listen to Cardi B. I can't listen to Cardi B. The wackest rapper I think will probably be that young. Well, Young Thug will be the wackest rapper, but but you can't. But I can't deny his music though, because when his music come on in the club, he's gonna be knocking. Who did you say? Knocking, but his spirit, like his weight. I'm talking about. I ain't trying to. Yeah, Rich Homie Squire. That's one. That's another wack rapper. That's a wack ass rapper. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> That's how wack he is. That's how wack he is. So, I mean, a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these rappers. I mean, okay, if you want to put it in perspective of, of music, they might have a, a nice song or something like that right there. But rap right. period, point blank, y'all, they some wack ass rappers, dog. Like for real. But I don't look in. There, I, I don't try to keep up with them dudes. I just try to keep up with myself because for a long time, I didn't listen to nobody else's music because I ain't had time because I was right. always looking on my own right. stuff. I didn't, right. know what, I didn't even know what was out new. Like, I've been right. listening to my kids and they and they really, and they young and they be like, what are y'all listening to? So they be talking <laughs> about <the person>. right. <laughs> you know I mean? Right. So, well, I look, I really appreciate you calling in, right? I, I'm going to support you because I like I like your music. I like I like uh, J-Real. I like what y'all doing. So know that y'all got my support. Over here on Blood Sweet Radio, we going to support you because that's just what we do. And you know. Thank you. Every time I go live, I play. Every time. So, yeah, I be seeing, I be seeing, I be, I be loving that job. I be like, damn, that's a, that's a real, real supporters right there. So right. I be supporting this show. I don't turn the people onto the bus, we radio and all that right, right there. And we appreciate yeah. that too, cause we, we young too. We just starting out too. You know what right. I'm saying? So tell everybody where you can be found at your, your social media across the board. Anything you want to say before we close? The floor is open. Oh, and and, and oh, wow. before you, before you say that. You 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 mentioned earlier that you had uh, um a lot of young dudes that you know want to get in this business. If you got tracks of theirs, man, you want to send us, we'll play them too. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Working with, on working on some stuff with the um, you know, like you know, having having artists having a whole a, a whole act. You know what I mean? Like if I go turn up somewhere, we got a whole act. Like it ain't gonna just be me sometimes. I'm gonna come right. with some folks. You know That's what I'm saying? what's up. Okay. That's what's up. So gonna be the whole thing. You know what I mean, I got I got about three, I got about three good artists already. Like, 
I ain't saying I got, got them. You know, I'm you got a female with artist them, too. And I turn, I turn them on. What I'm doing, and I'm doing it. But uh, I, got, I got a homeboy. Got a homeboy. I'm still working with named Envy, and I got a homeboy that I'm finna start working with named we call him Worm. I mean, I don't know where he calls himself in the right zone, but he's nice with it. And so, I got my nephew, my nephew, a friend still working with my nephew. And it's a boy, it, it's probably like two. Uh, so where the females at? Where the females at? I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I got a, I just um got turned on to this female artist about two nights ago. I can't, okay. um, I ain't even there. Um, ah, something big. Because you, I used to get down back in the day. I used to get down back in the day. I held the queen. It seems... It seems like I still got the crown because I don't see no female rappers stepping up around here. What's up? Well, I, I, I got this new, I, I got turned on to this new female artist the other night. It's something big, really. I, I can't, I got to go, I got to go back well, to it. But I was just listening to it and I just got, <laughs> oh, I, I, her mom put me on too. So, okay, well, we, listening and see what she got going on too. Okay, we're going to be lit out for that because we, we get a lot of male, we get a lot of male rappers, but. I haven't gotten one female rapper yet. I have my daughter, but she's not even in the game anymore. So what I'm playing from her is, you know, oh. So yeah, it'd be nice to have some female uh, artists in the game around around here. That'd be very nice. I'm working on somebody. I'm about to work on all that. Having some other acts, cause you know, like it's young, it's young, the young crowd be rocking too. So I'm just gonna have her involved, and then right. you know, some of them know how to don't know how to put they, push themselves out there like that. So I'm just trying to keep myself going so I can learn more and more and more. So when they be schooled to what to do, I can really put them in the right direction of how they should be doing it. And, you know, right. going off like that right there. That's what's up, great stuff going on, too. So. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, because uh, we, we have a segment on Buzz Street Radio where we um showcase what we call the indies. Indies. Okay. Independent. Independent artists. Mm -hmm. Where we showcase yeah. them and they just play nothing but their music. And okay. with that... That's the only place where we can go live on Facebook and they won't silence us because they're unsigned. It's not, you know, we don't need no copyright friends or anything. Right, right. Because right. so, that's, that's, that's what yeah, I'm that's, a, I got this other dude in the um, focus, too. He calls it stay focused, stay focused, but I'm, I like to call him focus. But he's a young rapper, too, so he's coming up, too. So. And all these I artists that you mentioned are from K Town or are they from surrounding areas? Yeah, they're all of them around here. I, all okay. of them. So. What's up? So keep That's us posted on that. We, we can we can even make up a, a special kissing show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah us no we, yeah. we we all about we all about representing the king first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what um, that's what me and Jay trying to pull together. Um, we trying to pull. It's probably gonna be hard, but because a lot of these guys, they just, they want to be competition. I'm like, nah, it ain't no competition. It ain't about that. Right. It ain't about competition and we ain't even hit the spotlight yet. What, what right. are you competing so, for? So it ain't you nobody think, in the spotlight yet. You right. think about it. If, if you good and I'm good, just think what we get together, just think what we can be. You good, yeah. I'm good, we get together, we can be great, bro. You know? Yeah. Why we That's gotta what compete? Right there, but I know, I know what that, I know what that come from. From them showing all them, um, you know, different rappers in the past competing against each other. Oh yeah, from the past beats. They, they, Nobody they, they that think anymore. that's the way it's supposed to be. The past beats. And see what they don't realize is, them boys knew that them beefing would boost up their sales. So that's why they did it. They, in, 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 in the uh, behind the cameras, they was all right with each other. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They did it for the money. Yeah, publicity stunts and stuff it like that. Publicity acts. It only it only call for that. That that yeah, make your listeners think that it, it takes violence and and and, and, and beefing. It takes that to do it. No. Okay. Hey, so I'm getting upset. Don't get upset. <laughs> don't get upset. <laughs> With that being no, said, no, we ain't, no, we ain't no, 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 dude, no, dude, no, dude, dude, dude said he was getting upset. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah that was, we ain't gonna let him get upset. Right. <laughs> So, so, yeah, we trying, we trying, we trying to read the benefits off, off off the whole K right now. You know what I mean? Like that's what's we trying up. to read the benefits off this right because who else gonna do it for? It? That's but right. I know. That's so, right. I mean, that's why that's why I support the show like that. You know what I mean? Thank so, you so came much. Come in and, and, and show the brothers some love. And, Thank you like, so right much. There, like that's what's, that's what's good. I really support and I, I support back. You know? We appreciate it. We appreciate it. So that being said. 
let the listeners know about your social media across the board, how they can contact you, how they can get your music, and what's next for NOD? Okay, y'all can find me. Um, I, I Twitter. I'm on Twitter. No diamonds. No diamonds underscore ent. Okay. No no diamonds underscore ent. That's Twitter. You can find me on Facebook at Manly Coons. I had to use another name because I was using no diamonds, but I used to be political too. Right. So right. <laughs> they, they, they stopped. They stopped my show with that one right there. And they, okay. they made me change my name. Okay. They, I guess they were trying to keep contacting me, but that's Maddie Coons. And you know, under the power of N.O. Diamonds Entertainment, my right. page is Diamonds Entertainment, N.O. Diamonds. Um, on Instagram, Diamonds 100. Diamonds 100. And, and, see and what Diamonds is 100. Right. And, but Diamonds is not, spell Diamonds again because it's not spelled like the regular Diamonds. D Y M I N Z. That's okay, why I love people like like it's it's so it's so crazy right now because like like the way the way um it's set up on the internet and stuff like that uh-huh. you gotta do it as that so it's right. to, to pull me all the way up I mean it's easier like that when I get people to, that's what I started trying to do a lot of pictures and flies and stuff like that to put right. my name so. but it's right. n dot o dot d y m i n z right you got to put yeah. them dots after that exactly and, and, and that o and it'll pull yeah. up easier if you do it like that, if you do it like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the internet know who I am for some reason. I ain't going to say for some reason. <laughs> but I've been putting out look, so much. It, they, know who I, I, they know who I am. If I can so, ask, what, what, if I can ask, what the N.O. stand for? Number one. Oh, okay. oh that's okay. what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> one, all right, all right. I like that. <laughs> I number like one. that. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what Eno stand for. Everybody said what Eno stand for number one. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, I got yeah, diamonds. I got diamonds years. off my um, <laughs> a track, a track my sister was doing. She was trying to um uh did that remember Fab had the diamonds in my damn chain song? And they did a remix of that joint, and I liked it so much. I was like, oh, shit, I, I, I like that name. I like that name, Diamonds. So I started to call myself Diamonds, and then my friends started to call me Diamonds because I'd be out here shining, you know what I mean? So, oh, okay. I was with it like that right there. Yeah, so, and those Diamonds sound so good. Um, the DJ that is playing on our show right now, his name is um, DJ Psycho. He's from Kinston also. Yep. I sit on your tracks. He said he would play them, so... You know, when he put them on, I'll let you know. I'll tag you in that joint. You don't have to listen right then. You, you know, you can always go back later and listen to the show. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to throw that out there. And if if you don't have anything else, honey. Mm-hmm. Just, just, keep looking, just keep looking out for the videos. I'm coming with more. I'm coming with visuals more now because I got into the music. I started learning. I started studying these videos. And I'm coming with more visuals. So just keep looking out for the videos. Okay. Look out for more songs. Look out for more collabs with people. Okay. Look out for Absolutely. more stuff that's coming from my boy J Real. I mean, all this stuff is going to be in, it's, it's going down. Put it like this. I'm trying to get into the show stuff, get up on the stage a little bit, bring my acts to the stage, bring my homeboys to the stage. And that's all we're trying to do. So do y'all do shows? It, do y'all do shows around here yet? Have y'all started doing shows yet? Nah, I can't. I, 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 it's not. It's, it don't be really no shows right here just in, in this close vicinity. Right. And that's why. I, that's why I want to rock with the Carolina Waves because they be doing a lot of shows though. Right. But, right. Um, well, I even have a chance to holler. At that. Well, get in touch with the um girl who be doing that. She she invited me to something, but I, I couldn't make it down to the Raleigh for that. Right. Because we get to be true, but we well, don't get into that. We're I Don't feel like it's going to happen for y'all, man. I feel like it's going to yeah. happen for y'all. I really it's feel like it's going to happen. Gonna... It ain't going to have no choice, because we're going to make it happen. That's what's up. Like you said, the, mu- the music the music going to speak for itself. Yeah, I just got to keep and, pushing. And it's, it's, it's good, and it's it good music. It's good yeah, music. Yeah, that's why I got to keep it around. That's why I said I found out for that. She listened to it because she said, like she said, she, uh, she only me rock, rock with this young crowd of music and stuff like that. But right. that's, that's me- kind of like I got my feel from. I get my feel from a... Um, I'm an old school. I'm an old school. G, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm young, but I learned from. You kind of in between. Old school, you know I mean? you kind of like Nas. You, you kind of like Nas. You kind of in between the old school and the new school. Yeah, I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned from. The, I learned from the old school. I got an old school game. I got old school. Right. Uh, old school mentality, and, and, and I, you know, I might hit with the new. I mean, I might hit the new, but at the same time. Like, it wouldn't be no new without the old. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? 
So Absolutely. That's why I keep it like that. I keep Absolutely. it like that. And I'm going to teach what I know to the younger crowd and keep that going like that. So that's what's like up. some traditional type thing going on. And that's what's just up. Everybody losing touch of reality. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So we want to thank you for calling in or, or allowing us to interview you, man. We really appreciate it. Ladies right. and gentlemen, uh, this is N.O. Dimes out of Pennsylvania, Carolina, number one diamonds. <laughs> yeah, N.O. Diamonds. <laughs> not, not only yeah, I'm a rock and roll. I get on the rock and roll sometimes, too. So, oh, yeah. You know, we play that, too. Going, going ham sometimes. We play all no. kind, We play all genres of music on Blood Sweet Radio. We even play country, so. Right. Yeah, we, so we, we we big Blake Sheldon fans. So. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Ain't yeah. wrong with that. I might get on some I might get on some outrageous stuff sometimes, you know what I mean? I get on some yeah. crazy, but I stay I stay in terms of time and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, so thank you for this interview. I just want you to know we watching and we listening. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And, and we big support. Big supporters. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll support you back. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Have yourself a blessed day, and we're going to talk to you soon, all right? All right, all right. Thank you. Thank uh, you for everything, okay? All right, bro. Anytime, dude. All right. Holla. All right, y'all. All right. All right. All right. All right. Nigga, hype, man. Sure, girl, B. Sparrow. B. Sparrow. It's Buzz Sweet Radio. That was the interview with N.O. Diamond. N.O. No Diamond. We finally got it out of the way. That's now one we got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm going to be I'm going to be there. Yeah. Hot Man from the video. Yeah. He'll interview Hot Man too, baby. He'll bang in the background. What was his name? Lone Dog. Lone Dog, yeah. I got to go back. I got to go back and check out the video and check out Lone Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Lone Dog, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, y'all, he's the one with the film. So anyway, we're gonna get back on with the show. It's your girl B Sparrow. Still Sparrow. Buzz Tweet Radio. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>